Okay, so we have the tank down. Moving the line with the electrical going to it. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me see if I can follow the wires. And I'm following the wires. There's those um, special clips. Um, be careful with them. Don't break them. There's these special tools like this that you use to remove them. You stick them in and you pop them out. Um, just remember how it goes. Uh, the furthest one is the first one to the tank. So the one that's facing you to the first one right here goes to the first one on the um, pump. So just make a mental notation, take a picture, do something that you know will give you some kind of idea. I removed the straps. I've got the straps. I'm using just the regular jacks. Um, I did put a wood down because there is a little bit of gasoline on the floor. Um, and some more you and I don't want to cause any type of fire as I slide it out through here, that opening. Um, I may need to pick the vehicle up a little bit more. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully it's just enough to where I can get it in and out. But, um, yep, there you go. Um, the tank is down. Um, 15 millimeter. And down she can remove the straps. Just make sure you secure it first. And uh, bring it down. Uh, we can bring it down to where I have it. So that way, um, what do you call it? You can get those holes out. Some I seen some had some clamps and some rubber hoses. I don't know about that, but uh, hopefully you have the one like this, which is OEM. I got a good price on it. Um, the one on the internet, I mean, it was like forty bucks, um, like forty-two and change with taxes and shit. The bad thing about it is it's taking fucking forever. Um, it's been a couple of months, I'm going on two weeks already since I ordered it. And um, the first time they sent the ticket, no item. Um, I was excited, you know, to get it so that we can tear it down and do it. At this point, I had to go to the store. Um, most auto parts stores for this is like about 240 and up. Um, I got it for uh, 210 plus change, which is pretty cool. And um, one of the things that I recommend is change that, which is your fuel filter right here. Um, just do this every 50,000 miles uh, or every every year just do it every year that way at least you know every year it gets done you got a clean fuel filter going up especially with the new pump you know so that way at least it doesn't strain it um, it doesn't cause any problem um, the other thing i wanted to say is just be very careful um, don't manhandle things um, everything can be done properly with you know manual tools you don't need to use, you know, no impact or none of that unless you're in the shop and you're getting paid by the hour or by the job. So just if you're doing this on your own, uh, safety first. Um, gloves, goggles, um, because you're underneath the vehicle and jack stands, please, for the love of God. I've seen some people do some things that, man, I'm glad I was there to save them because shit. The jack gives out and all of a sudden the car comes crashing down on you. You're underneath. You're fucked if you're by yourself. So safety first, okay? Well, that's all I'm going to do is disconnect the hose, bring it down. The fuel pump should be here at uh, 3.30. Um, it's a special order one. Um, it's an OEM from GM. So it's pretty cool that I got a good price on it from the dealer that out.
out, you know, beat all the other competitors out there for the parts. So that was pretty cool for GM. You know, I was expecting to pay a lot at the dealership, but it was pretty good. So thank you, um, Elk Grove Chevrolet for that. But, um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to take this apart, and I'm going to continue. So hopefully uh, you guys doing it at home to think this is, you know, hard. It's not really hard. You know, just got to have the proper tools. Um, safety comes first, and you can bring this down. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. Just be very cautious. Make sure the tank is completely empty. If you, this is your first time doing this, just slow. There's no rush, you know. It's not like it's, you know, you're winning a thousand dollars. You're just fixing a vehicle just so you can go back to work. So just make sure, you know, you just take precaution, gloves, you know, goggles. And, well, Hopefully, you know, this helps you. If this doesn't help you, then I don't know what's going on. But, you know, start with the basics first. Make sure that, you know, there is fuel getting up there. Um, but because I don't have a fuel pressure tester, and I know that I can start it with what you call it, starting fluid, and the engine starts. So then I know there's a fuel issue because the spark is automatically sparking when I put my spark tester not only from the coil to the distributor, from the distributor to any of the plugs going to the engine. So, start with the basics first, you know, something simple. Oops, sorry guys. I save you from doing this. Sometimes it's just a relay, it is mechanical, it gives out, so. Start with the basics first. Alright guys, I'll leave you and hopefully you know you guys have fun.